How's it going? Joe Sanok here from practiceofthepractice.com where we help small businesses to be more awesome, doing all sorts of fun things over there at Practice of the Practice. Today, uh, I wanted to teach you about how to make a graphic for blogging. Uh, and so a couple concepts here. We're going to use Canva.com, which is just an amazing way of making great graphics. Uh, you're going to want to look at your theme in WordPress to see um, what size is optimized for your images. I tend to prefer to make just a Facebook style image because it works well with my theme, but it also um, then works well with Facebook so I don't have to make two images. But for you, you might want to do a custom dimension. So you're going to start on canva.com after you create your account. Click on use custom dimensions if you know a custom dimension. Um, or uh, if we go back, oop, look at that. Or what you can do is, let me just click more so you can see a bunch of the options. So it's going to optimize the size for like a Facebook cover, for different social medias. These are t ones that I use more frequently. So we've got like Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, um, some documents. So if you're making like an ebook or a resume or a presentation, you can do it in here. Um, for blogging, um, there's blog titles, um, kind of just depends on what size you want to do. So say the um, 560 by 315 pixels is the best size for your, um, for your WordPress, then you'd use that. So a lot of different options here. Uh, so I'm going to use the Facebook post uh, because I have a webinar I'm doing that is called How to Get More Done and Work Less. So I'm going to show you how to make that. So if you've uploaded images um, from your own images or from someplace like Unsplash or images that you own, um, those will all be here in the upload area. Uh, and so I'd highly recommend that you um, find some good quality images that either you pay for the rights to use or are copyright free. Um, I love Unsplash.com because they have so many great images there. Um, but you'll see that those are all on the left here. So I am going to probably just, I want a very simple one. So I'm gonna just choose a background. All right, so let's start with this black background and maybe let's lighten it up a bit. So I'm gonna go here. I could choose any color that I wanted. I'm just gonna lighten it up just a touch so it's not quite as dark. And then uh, I'm going to find an element. Um, so there's all sorts of great icons, shapes, grids, um, different things here. So, let's see if we can find like a clock or something like that. Uh, how to get more done. Maybe, let's use this. All right, so I'm gonna put that over here. You wanna do kind of the rule of thirds. And so you want things to take up about a third of the space. So think of this as like a grid um, and people kind of read in sort of like an F style. So, uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Um, but let's look at, so how to get more done and work less. That's right. So then we're going to go to text. So I'm going to actually, there's a lot of different options here of how to make it look. Um, but I'm going to just do... Liking. There's a few different ones here that you can, there's a lot of different ones you can pick from. Um, there's ones that I like more than others, but I think I'm going to go with the Joseph Sands and see how that looks. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Widen it so it's like that. So say I want it in this space, what I can do is I can now go up here, go to text spacing, and I can go get it closer or farther apart. So like that. Okay, so I'm gonna then copy this. And work, I think less is what I said. Let's do this. 
it anyway. How to, oh, we're gonna make that a little bit bigger. We'll go back to the Joseph Sands. Or Josephine Sands. And then colors you've used will show up here so that you can have it all kind of match. So I'm gonna go how to, and then let's copy that. I don't really like that, um, but you're learning how to do it. So um, I'm gonna probably work on this a little bit more. Maybe I'll put this here, Let me space it out a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm not loving that. Let's actually, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna change it. I'll make this bigger so it stands out a little bit more. I feel like this is too squished. We'll just copy this. See, sometimes you just gotta look at it and then you're like, I don't really like that. And we'll just delete that one. Yeah, delete this one. And then let's do, actually no, we're gonna copy this one. All right, so that's how that works. Now, if you wanted to um, say you had a picture and you wanted this to be semi-transparent, you can, down here, you can make it transparent. So it's sort of transparent over your image. You can do that with other images. Uh, there's tons that you can do here. There's already pre, there's also pre layouts. These are like mostly some of the free ones. It'll say free, if you have to pay, then it's pay. Um, I've only used the free ones. We looked at the elements, we looked at here, we looked at the background, looked at the uploads. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do get more done webinar. That's what I'm gonna call that. And um, this is just gonna be the image and then my call to action is gonna be in my social media. So I'm gonna do download, I'm gonna do high quality. And then boom, it's gonna be done and I'm gonna use that for my blog graphics and also my social media. Have a great day. Hopefully that helped you a ton. Bye.